So here we have it, the Super Saiyan, the Black Super Saiyan is here. Just kidding. So 20.3, a workout I've never, never done before, thankfully. Um, 21.59, Diane, deadlifts and handstand push-ups, obviously you gotta do it to the standard, which a lot of people aren't gonna do, because that's the only way they're gonna get high reps and good scores. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, so I split my deadlifts at the start, 777, then I did 555 and then 5 and a 4. Um, on the handstand push-ups, I wanted to do 777. Unfortunately, um, I'm not, I've am not. i actually never done them to the standards. Obviously, you know, a lot of people, everyone that doesn't do good in the sta as far as the standards go will not be happy with it. For me, it's like, it's a standard that's been set out, you've got to stick to it. And obviously, people have been sucked by the amount of rips that have been taken off as far as the elite pe um, people. Um, so if you stick to the standards, once you actually are better, then it's kind of good, isn't it? So you're not going to cheat all the time, and then when you actually get to a level where you're good at handstand punch or the actual skill element, then you're like, shit, because I've not been sticking to the standards all this time, I'm not going to be as good as I thought I was, and you're going to get no reps all the time, which I got now, which I then got. Because a lot of time you're seeing the people that aren't so good or aren't in the limelight, you're watching all their videos. I don't, I don't pay attention to them people, but I've, I've heard from other people they want to pay attention to other people, that a lot of people aren't sticking to the standards. End of the day, if you're sticking to the standards when you're training, when you get to competition day, you've got nothing to worry about, you know what I mean? Um, but unfortunately, some people they don't know how to stick to rules. Um, that's not going to be negative though. So for, the, for this workout, I enjoyed it because um, it kind of showed that all my hands and push-ups have improved but I'm still not at a place where I've got where I'm pushing against other people for instance for me I was top 30 in the UK before uh, 20.3 I believe that's going to drop down unless I redo this workout and I do very well in the next redo I'm going to redo it Sunday and Monday um, I've got a, in, I've got a competition for Forge Fitness is at CrossFit Rotherham um, the gym that we all that I train at sorry it'll be an amazing competition and uh, good vibes um, so depending on how sore I am from then, I'm gonna redo it anyway because it, I'm not. I literally just spent most of my time on handstand push-ups, deadlifts were a piece of piss for me. So there you saw I broke a few times on handstand push-ups. I was not looking happy. I'm still not finished them yet. For me, it's like I'm just not the build for the standards of handstand push-ups. Simple as that. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna say oh this 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 and that. I've got to get to the standards. So for me, I might have to put my hands a bit narrower, even though I'm narrow as it is. But for me. I've literally got to force my toes into my body, so squeezing my heels all the way up. So it allows me to have that more freedom, more of a freedom to get the rep out. Instead of doing probably like another half, probably I probably did more than 20 no reps or like 15 no reps handstand push-ups, I'll probably check after. But I did quite a lot of no rep handstand push-ups. A few were just kicking up too early, not having the balance, because I had to go really close to the wall, which I don't like to do. And then I had deadlifts, I was seeing my face, I'm not happy at all. Dallas for a piece of piss for me. Five, five, five. Hundred kilos, um, like thirty percent of my max. So, and I'm, when I'm saying percentage, I'm not boasting. I'm just, I'm just trying to give a, uh, a view of my opinion on the workout. If you've got a very strong deadlift, you don't really need to focus on the deadlift, but you don't want to go ham. Like I could have easily done every set unbroken on these deadlifts. But then imagine I've got something that's not a strength. So the handstand push-ups, the gymnastic part of the workout, where my heart rate is pretty high so I'm trying to keep my heart rate as low as possible because the deadlifts are quite easy for me to get on the handstand push-ups and really save myself to go all out on the handstand push-ups and with me I just I was I just couldn't be asked to use a mat because everything that was going with, with me at the, at the time I just wanted to get the workout done and obviously I've got that little sponge on the top of my head so been growing that out especially for the open not <laughs> it probably does help to be honest so when we're measuring it, we've got to push my hair down. I think I've actually shrunk. I haven't measured myself for like two years. I was I was saying that I'm six foot, which is 183, but I'm actually just under. I'm 18, either 181 or 182. But then I'll strictly want to be on the measurements. But we measured it to 182. Then my forearm length was 40 centimeters. Divide that by two. Quick mass, 20 centimeters. For me, like what you see in a lot of reps, I could when I'm trying to kick up, really put my feet together as well. So obviously the further away from your midline, from the middle of your body, feet are the shorter you are. Imagine if you stood up right, you're gonna be tall, nice and tall, compared to like there. 
so yeah so a few times for me it was like very hard to have my hands so close to the wall like I've, my head my head is usually that close to the wall but not my hands so obviously creating more of a tripod position so you're more stable at the bottom I was having to use my core quite a lot see a lot of time I'm dropping I had to use my core quite a lot to just stay to, to make myself nice and sturdy my shoulders were actually burnt out for me I've not got very I've not got the greatest some um, shoulder muscle endurance and um, strength so for me obviously doing a body weight with a kip isn't the best again drop down little things like that I could just compose myself when this take my time big fill in the house this is big fill showing me and um, motivating me yeah, I've got a little little Adam over there as well representing China aka Hong Kong maybe triceps the gnome Liam scoffing down is that a bagel probably a croissant breakfast of champs and master Linus of Lithuania judging me again. These handstand push-ups I literally just needed to focus and like not do shitty reps which you kind of saw midway and near to the end because I was really I was probably just fucked from all the handstand push-ups. Obviously not not being a great um, strength of mine. Thankfully we didn't have strict handstand push-up because um, I would not be doing a commentating video over this because my strict handstand push-ups are absolutely shite. Maximum two reps but I'm just glad that I built it over time. I would really, literally couldn't even do one years ago. Well, last year, probably six months ago. Before Christmas, I didn't have a strict handstand push ups. I think my first one was like April, May, or June. So I'm pretty happy about that. Deadlifts again, just keeping my heart rate low. I could have done all this on broken, but I'm like, save my energy for the handstand push ups. And like people saying, if they're easy, why have you got a belt on? It, um, it, it just makes it the lift easier for me. Like, I could have done it without a belt, but I'd rather have that confidence that the deadlift's going to be a piece of piss, so then I can save my energy for the handstand push-ups. So, going through the handstand push-ups, the tape is annoying. Thankfully, I've got a judge that actually sticks to the, <laughs> sticks to the um, standards. So, I had a few annoying reps. I'm happy that I've got a judge that, judge that doesn't let things slide. I'd rather be doing my reps properly, properly and knowing that other people around the world or whatever, I don't really care doing the right things but at the end of the day you can't force other people to do the right things people lie nowadays so doesn't matter does it no it don't for me it wasn't really a breathing workout it was a shoulders 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 and then some more shoulders <laughs> yeah, I was looking forward to I was not looking forward to this workout but I was kind of happy that I'd be looking I'd be trying to get through the diet through down sorry with the standard and then get onto the handstand walks uh, you'll see what happened. <laughs> as simple as that. <laughs> Again, I did this in the morning. This workout I felt better than when I read it 20.2 because I ate accidentally, uh, not accidentally, but I actually ate something before the workout. I do intermittent fasting so I don't eat in the morning till like 12 or 1 a.m. 1, 1 p.m. Sorry. Another failed rep. I'm actually going to count up these reps, see how many I missed. And imagine if I took that reps off of the last round, that would be me finishing the round probably another two minutes earlier, sorry. Yeah. I think, yeah, this is a lot. This might be the last one. And I had, uh, missed it. I think I missed this one. Oh, I might hit this one. Big fill in the camera. And the last rep was an absolute grinder. Two, three, four, five. Five seconds to get the last one in. And then I went absolutely ham on these others because they're quite light for me. This barbell is actually... 57.4, 57.2% of my max, so I should be circling this very easy. I think I got eight reps in, I have a seven, eight or nine reps in. So yeah, I think it was eight, and I did an extra rep for no reason. But I'm gonna redo this workout because I know I can do better. Just get, get used to kind of making my handstand push-ups more effective for the standard, so I was taking my time on the handstand push-ups, maybe go a bit narrower, put my feet, when I'm keeping up, grab my feet together, and that's the end of the video. I'm gonna redo this another two times. I might put it on here. If I get a better score, I'll put it up. If I don't get a better score, I won't put it up because there's nothing watching me do a, a workout slow. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.
And then what I do now? Measure form. Oh. Yeah? That way. Yeah. Measure form. Oh. Do you do that? Same. Same size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just send me here, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hard. So, 45 by 2 is 20. Yeah. Yep. Cheers, lads. That was painful. Okay. And shit.